Now that's where we were last week and already you can tell it's a far better day. So I am getting super psyched for Cape Point because I think it's going to be an absolute gorgeous day. Okay, last stop I promise, but just look at that water. That's a bit of milk! Oh yeah, look at that. Conservation fees. Okay, wow, so I have just arrived and turned off at the first turn off here at Cape Point and it is a stunner of a day. So there's this like 20 minute trail which I'm sure is probably like five minutes. So I'm gonna give it a go. I'm pretty stoked. It's pretty beautiful. Just look at the sea down there. Look at it. Oh. But yeah, enjoy this little trail. So this is all fame boss. Everything in here is part of the Cape Touristic Kingdom. Within the Cape Touristic Kingdom you have three major families of plants. You've got the Proteaceae, the Restiaceae and the Ericaceae. I'm gonna see if I can find something for everything. This right here, this is a Proteaceae. This is also Proteaceae. This is Ericaceae. It's also a Erica. This like grassy, reedy thing over here, this is a Restiaceae. There's some more Restiaceae over there. Okay, so this is the viewpoint. Yeah, so without standing on a puff adder, we're gonna head back to the car and head over to Cape Point. Okay, so I've just made a quick stop at the visitor center. I think it's called Buffalo's Fontaine. Um, for two reasons. One reason is I wasn't smart enough to pack water or anything. Definitely pack water. Second reason is to find out more about this place and what, what the highlights are to do. I mean, I only know so much and the people to always consult are the people that work here. Or hopefully anyway. So yeah, let's go find out some more. Okay, so that was pretty cool. I never actually really worked out what the reception was, to be completely honest. There was a sign, but it looked more like offices. But the signage was actually pretty cool and pretty informative, so I think next stop is Cape Point. Okay, so I've just arrived here at the lighthouse, like, car park thing. You can take something called the funicular which takes you up to the top or you can walk up to the top. I'm gonna do the walking thing. So I'm gonna run up see if I see anything like cool or worth sharing. But yeah, this is, yeah. So here we go. Vegetation's completely different up here. It's much more shrubby. Not as much fame boss. But still very pretty. This is quite a walk. But definitely better than the Fatankula. Fatankula? Fatankula? Da -da -da -da. Okay, so we've gone for a little walk just to the right of the lighthouse up there and it is very, very pretty, I must say. But not much wildlife up here, uh, besides lots of lizards, so probably going to walk to the end of this trail and then going to go to head maybe to some of the beaches and see what's there. So yeah, just an update. Literally the best part for me right now is these lizards. They are literally everywhere and like I've almost sat on about three. And you look on all the rock faces and you just see these heads poking out. So I don't know, that, that, just, that just makes it for me. But obviously the scenery is amazing, the beaches are amazing. And yeah, I really wish I had my costume, but yeah. 
Okay, tickets now. This guy gets it. He knows what it's all about. Back from doing all the walks around Cape Point. Hot. The most unique part about Cape Point and within the Table Mountain National Park is that it has big game and like eline, zebra, red heart to be us and Bontebok. But yeah, let's go drive around and see what game we can see. Thank you. 